The time has come to bring on another BAM. What's inside the newest BAM box subscription box? Too much, maybe? I, I, I don't know. It's possibly it's too much of an intro. Nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and get opened the newest BAM box for November. I know that because it says November along the top. That could very well have been the post person deciding to write the date on very nicely for me to tell me when they dropped it off. Nonetheless, if you guys are interested in subscribing to the BAM box original, that would be the pop culture variety or the extra spicy horror variety, either way you can go to www.thebambox.com. Now we're going to open up this parcel of white to see the delight inside. Producers are also saying that that's too much, but we're going to run with it. We're going to run with it. It feels right, and when it feels right, we're going to go with it. Let's open up the box and revealing the contents inside. I don't really know what they are just yet. I can tell you there is some black tissue paper inside. Anybody call dibs? Nobody calls dibs. Some would even say I didn't give enough opportunity for somebody to put up their hand, but nonetheless, we're going to throw that away. And by throwing it away, I mean in the recycling. What's this getting a gander at? It's something yellow. It's a triangle. That's early shapes for you. They teach all this stuff in school, from what I've heard. Uh, this is a handkerchief. Oh, it's Camp Crystal Lake. It's a bandana. Would you say that that is a bandana? It says Camp Crystal Lake established 1939 and it says counselor down below. I better not wear that in case a hockey mask wielding maniac decides he wants to start picking off counselors. Far be it for me to be the individual that's stepping in the line and getting in the way of a maniac with a machete. This also, and I can't help but notice I'm waving my fingers a lot in this review. Sorry, sorry for that. I, I instantly have now remembered the fact that this is also now the BAM box. I just put two and two together. Friday the 13th, subscription box from BAM. Equals whoosh, whoosh, horror box. Pursuing that further, let's look in the contents and see. We seem to have an animated cartoon style Gomez from the Adams Family. I don't feel like this is the newest Gomez. There I go with my obsessive need for pointing my finger up. Uh, this is not the newest Gomez from the newest Adams Family movie that's coming out. I believe this is like from the old vintage Adams Family cartoon. Possibly? Yes? Maybe? Possibly. On the back, though, it says The Family, designed by Brian Romero. This is the fan art collection for the Bambox, www.thebambox.com. Slower, says the mob, www.thebambox.com. Further inspecting inside, what do we got here? Uh, we seem to have a school bus, at least that's what I'm seeing here. This buildable, oh, it's a taxi cab. It actually says right there, a taxi cab. I suspected it was a bus, a school bus for children. This buildable taxi cab has been hand signed by Angela Jones, who plays Esmeralda in Pulp Fiction. It was signed during a private signing for the BAM box pop culture box and is guaranteed to be authentic. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I would almost have assumed that the, whoops, the thing, the very thing that I dropped, the Gomez pin, I would imagine. Well, it does say BAM pop culture. So why all of a sudden do we have a Camp Crystal Lake bandana inside the box? This is now leading to more further mystery that I feel like I have to uncover. Perhaps this was supposed to be in the bandana, that is, was supposed to be inside the BAM pop horror box, the BAM horror box. Uh, see what we got here. This is an autograph of Woody Hales Harrelson from a movie. Mm, I don't know. I guess that would be Zombie. Would that be Zombie Land? This Woody Harrelson from Zombie Land. Let's have a look on the back here. The art print of fan art collection titled DT has been hand signed by artist Oscar Van for the Bam Pop Culture Box and is guaranteed to be authentic. I guess this is the the BAM pop culture box, despite for the fact it's got the uh, it's got the headband, the bandana. I'm drawing blank as to what the name of it was. <laughs> you silly goose! Ah, you silly goose! Okay, let's have a look here. Let's see what else we got in here. Inside, what is in the BAM pop culture box? For it says box number ten, but it doesn't give you the month. I'm gonna assume it was November. 
That's my guess. I'll know soon enough when the time comes, obviously, to post this online. The celebrity autograph. This month, you will need to put a bit of work into our autograph. This buildable taxi is signed by Angela Jones, who plays Elm Esmeralda in Pulp Fiction. It comes uh, in three pieces and is ready to build and display. Not bad at all. Fan art print. Oscar artist Oscar Van gives us a bold print aside the set from some of our favorite characters in Zombieland. Uh, look for the variant numbered out of 500 and the new variant numbered out of 99. Neither of which I did actually acquire in this box. We got the fan art pin for the new Adams Family movie coming out. I guess I guess I've got egg on my face. It was from the newest movie. Uh, it says we wanted to do pins based on the new movie designs, so many characters to choose from. We love where where we ended up. Look for pins numbered out of 250 and 99. Thing happened to be 99, the more rare of the t three, not the two, the three. And um, I guess that is, is that Morticia? I'm guessing that's Morticia. She was 250. The movie prop, box 10 fell over Halloween while we have a dedicated horror uh, horror box, horror box box. I didn't, I didn't see double there. That actually says horror box box. We wanted to give them at least one item for the Ace horror lover and all of us. But beware, it's camp. This camp doesn't have great reviews, and that would then explain why. There, I go with my finger again. That would explain why we did get the horror prop inside what would have already been a pop culture box from the folks over at Bam Box. Win this Uma Thurman signed 8x10 photo. For your chance to win, go to the bandbox forward slash community and look for the entire, the in entry post. Oh, my eyes. I knew I shouldn't have been squeezing those lemons. I think I might have had some citrus in my eyes. Follow the instructions for your chance to win. Sore eyes aside, let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think with the best item inside the pop culture box. We're just going to call it number 10. Number 10. Would that be October? October is the 10th month, after all. Hmm, the mystery continues. Either way, if your mystery was, the question posed for this mystery was, how can I subscribe to the BAM Pop Culture Box? It's as simple as going to www.thebambox.com. Pick your poison, whether it be the original recipe or the extra spicy. This was happened to be the BAM Pop Culture Box. But of course, most definitely, we're going to be having a look at the Horror BAM Box coming up in a future review. There you go. Something to mark on your calendar or mark on your arm if you wanted to. But, you know, hygiene, of course, comes into play. And sooner or later, you're probably going to want to wash that off. I would hope you certainly would want to wash that off. If also a question to this posed mystery was, how can I follow this channel and find out more that's going on? Ah, you've read the script. Simply go and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And while you're also at it, why don't you swing on over to the homepage and see if there's anything brewing over there that you may have missed already. Check out the frequent videos that this guy, this fella right here, is posting on a regular basis. And keep your peepers peeled, because there's going to be a whole lot of newer videos coming onto this channel as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.